Hey Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. My name is Amber Dawn. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. So if you're not here for a love reading, then this isn't going to be the reading for you. I don't know how this happened. I had everything set up where everything was in the frame and then that's weird. Sorry. So when I was focusing on your energy, I, um, I was just feeling like you need to focus on your money and don't let anybody take advantage of you in, in your money. I don't know why that's coming to mind. Um, if this reading, re uh, bleh, reading resonates with you, awesome. Um, let me know in the comments, like how it resonated or, you know, whatever you want to tell me. Um, I do check my messages before I post them on Facebook. So if you just want to tell me something privately, you can tell me and, uh, just ask me not to post it on YouTube and we can keep that between me and you. Uh, otherwise I hope all is well. If this doesn't resonate, just take what does leave the rest and let's get to it. I have already pre-shuffled and tuned in. Um, I am kind of feeling like some of you may be kind of want ready to like walk away from a situation. Um, and Capricorns, you know, they're, they're cool with that. Like if somebody is making waves, then they're, they're perfectly fine with, um, letting somebody go. So I, God, this is too close. So bear with me. I'm going to try and raise this up a little bit so you can, so we have more room to work with. All right, that's good. Okay. Sorry, it seems like I'm always doing this in all the videos. There, now we have more work, room to work with here. Cool. All right, so start focusing on your person. Focus on your person. We're gonna um, tap into their energy first. All right, here we go. King of Swords reversed, Four of Pentacles, and the Star. Um, I feel like there might be somebody in your life who um, isn't a good communicator. And they may be really fickle when it comes to money um, or your money. Maybe they don't let you spend the way you like to or they are trying to take advantage of your money. Interesting. Like I said, money, huh, in the beginning. Trying to get money from you. Maybe they're feeling like you're not, you're too fickle with your money and you're not sharing. Let's see what we got here. All right, so Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, see, money, money, money. Uh, King of Wands. person might be a fire sign or a Aquarius could be an earth sign because of all the pentacles but since I started off on that money topic I'm kind of drawn to speak about it so there may be some kind of breadcrumbing here or somebody in this situation is working harder than the other person um with the Page of Cups in between the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely love for money. Um, 
and somebody is, is putting in more work than the other person. And it might be this King of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. I keep getting drawn to the moon. Like there's untold... To me, it's like the there are secrets that are being held from um, the feminine. Or the feminine has allusions to um, what this king of wands is doing when it comes to finances. Like it's like, oh, I'll pay you back, babe. Or, you know, two of pentacles, more pentacles. So there's, there's, um, maybe the person that you're dealing with is having a hard time choosing which job they want, um, having a hard time letting go of something. Some more wands here. Three of Swords Reverse. Yeah, so someone's had a hard time letting go of some kind of pain in the past when it comes to finances. Got the High Priestess, like someone not being able to use discernment. Um, you know, maybe they lost their job with the seven of wands feeling like ready to throw in the towel because they feel pushed in the corner. So I don't know if that has to do with ready to throw in the towel with you or just ready to throw in the towel when it comes to um, the insecurities that came from the job loss maybe or yeah, there's something that they're, they're trying to get over Let's see what we got here. Ace of Wands reversed. So losing passion and then the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Yeah, so there's there's something like they've lost their mojo is what I'm feeling from this. So they m might be the one that's not really contributing um, financially into the situation, which is taking away the passion within this relationship because... There's a lot of insecurities that come with um, having to live off somebody else's coin. Interesting. It's very specific. I wonder how many of you this is going to resonate with. All right. So now we're going to pull some for you and where you're at within this dynamics here. Two of cups reversed. This one wanted to pop out. Three of Wands. I'm not going to take it, though. All right. So Two of Cups, you're feeling like... A two of Cups reversed, it's like, ugh, you know? The um, And then we have Ace of Cups upright. So it's like, where did the passion go? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, maybe instability within the family... I'm just making sure that this isn't blurry. Um, yeah, it could be instability within the family now. You're just trying to find your passion for this person again um, because they prob most likely have lost passion for themselves. And in times like this, I wouldn't doubt if it had to do with losing a job. Even though there are a lot of jobs available, but... Okay, let's see what we have. Five of Pentacles reversed. The Strength reversed. Justice. Wow. So I think you're trying to keep everything... Um, you're trying to be the head of the household at the moment. You're trying to keep everything... Um, you're trying to hold the fort, you know? And it's difficult for you, like you're feeling drained, but, and you're waiting for justice. You're waiting for some balance. 
you know, and I find it interesting that you have the Ace of Cups and then Justice next to it. Like, you are waiting for, like, an answer, you know, like, are, did, did you get the job? Um, are you looking? I don't know. I'm so focused on the money, probably because you're a Capricorn and, you know, y'all are very um, goal-oriented and money-focused, and state stability means a lot to you. And so... It, it, yeah, there might, this might be a situation of you holding down the fort and starting to kind of lose your patience because it's draining you. Um, yeah, I was going to take the two cards that kind of flipped around in there, but I'm not going to. Two of Wands and Three of Wands reversed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the passion within this relationship seems to be at a standstill for sure. Uh, maybe because they're having money issues and you're, maybe you have nothing to do with that. Maybe you're not contributing to helping them financially, but whatever is going on is turning the passion for each other upside down a little bit. And you're trying to, on the bottom of the deck, King of Swords, so you're trying to um, figure out what, is there something that I can do to help? You're trying to be logical in this situation. Ooh, battle. Wands. This might be a fire sign. Like, oh, I already said that. There's lots of fire, lots of earth here. Five of wands. Battle. Six of swords. Walking away from the... Um, yeah, like you're walking away from the battle. You're tired of battling. It's, um, you're at the point where you're finally making up your mind to bail. So, if you can see, this chick is, she's in that balloon, whatever the hell those are called. And she's out of there. She's done. She's over it. She's over the battles. So you're over it. Over the over dealing with all of this. And it's interesting because they also have the five of wands up here too. And seven of wands. So they feel the, the pressure as well for sure. But I think you're just kind of like, I miss the ace of cups. I miss that new love feeling. I miss that. Um intensity for each other, you know, and I'm kind of tired of arguing. This isn't what I signed up for. You're starting to do some um, self-reflection. The Four of Cups, you're starting to take a step back and figure out, you know, is this really worth my time? Like, is this really worth it? My energy, Ten of Pentacles reversed again. You could have lost your job, or maybe you're having a hard time with money, but I feel like it's more on their side. It could go on both ways, though, so how, just take it how it resonates. But Ten of Pentacles is feeling incredibly stressed out over money, and there's the balance in the home is um, not there because there's a lot of, conf con there's a lot of like competition or confusion or arguments. And Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah, I feel like you're losing your patience and your passion for this person. Interesting. And like I said in the beginning, just, you know, don't let anybody take your bag, you know? I don't know why that's the first... I keep saying that. Explain it to me, Capricorn. <laughs> Explain it to me. All right, so we're going to pick some cards here and see what they're thinking about you. Shit, my battery's about to go dead. 
great. I'm just going to keep going and hopefully it doesn't die. All right, so they're definitely feeling um, like they have no power in this situation. They're feeling really stressed out about what's going on here. Got soulmate. So they, you know, they're upset at themselves for letting you down. Um, unexpected, surprise, spontaneous. So maybe they'll come in with um, some good news. You know, maybe there's some good news around the corner. You know, maybe they are trying to put, put their weight in on the situation. And they're going to have something that you're going to want to hear. And it's going to be a surprise to you. Today. So it's going to happen soon. Whatever you're waiting for, it's going to happen soon. Um, about to reveal or confess. So yeah, they're going to come in with some news. Twin flames. Wow. Right under soulmate. So you guys are definitely meant to be together. This whole situation. Now, you're, now when I say you're meant to be together, it doesn't mean forever. But sometimes it can mean forever. But it means you have a very, you have lived.